Hello guys, in the second Ableton tip I'm going to show you a few ways to work with dummy clips. I have prepared this session so we can take a look at four different ways to use those dummy clips. Here I have a loop, the original loop. Quite simple, just something to work with. The first scenario I call here minimal effects. I made a group to make things easier. Uh, you can use dummy clips here on this MIFX track uh, to set different parameters of, of any effect you've got on the channel. I, I here have a bit repeat and I've changed the offset parameter. So on the first one I set the offset to zero here on the automation of the clip here I set the offset to 4, to 8 and the other two uh, here I made uh, a ramp as you can see so the the offset is really automating it's starting at 0 and going to 12 or something 15 let's see 15 exactly and here I wanted to show you too that you can use the linked unlinked button let me undo this uh, so you, you, when you are unlinked, you can make automation bigger or smaller than the original loop. You're not tied to uh, the number of bars contained in the loop you're using. And you must know the dummy clip, uh, you can use as a dummy clip any audio clip. Because what you'll do is that you route the audio track you want to manipulate to that track that is set to in in the monitor section. Uh, so, in fact, e when you hit play on that dummy clips, since the monitor is turned to in, you won't hear the clip itself, but you hear whatever is coming on the input of that track. So, we're only using those clips to manipulate the sound, manipulate the effect we have. So, let's see how it works. We launch the loop. working because the beat repeat is on that track. Now we can change the offset by launching the clips. I always like I always like to keep the quantization of the dummy clips uh, low, not a bar, uh, so th that you can uh, alter the effects. Uh, when you want. Here the ramp. The random. Here the random clip. As with the, the ramp one, I used the unlink uh, option. So I made it only one bar long. As the loop has four bars. So that's it. That's the simplest scenario to use uh, dummy clips. On the other one I called simple effects, what you can do is that you can have uh, multiple uh, audio effects on that track and assign each one to a chain. So this one, you will always going to have one that you can call dry, where you don't have any effects. So when you hit that clip, what will happen is that you're going to hear the original sound. Then you can I put a uh, random effect here, you can have any effect you want, you create one effect per chain. Uh, I'll assume you know how to do this. Here I have a reverb, a bit repeat, a resonator, and on the chain selector, you select uh, which, uh, at which point this, if the, the corresponding effect will act. Uh, it's very important that if you want uh, each effect to work separately that you use that you specify single zones for each one then you go to each clip and on the audio effect rack uh, automation you go to chain selector and on each clip you use you select the chain with this automation inside the clip so let's hear how this works. I'll launch the group.
So what happens is that each clip you launch will use an effect. Okay, this is the second scenario.